one of the things I've heard when talking to other professional services companies is most of them have implemented, just like you guys, a multi-step interview process where it's not only HR or the recruiter that's involved and not only the hiring manager, but there's also a series of other stakeholders that are part of the hiring team. What do you think is unique about professional services that requires that type of multi-step interview process? Yeah, I think when you are not professional services, it really is the manager saying, is this the person I need on my team? And there's probably, I mean, there's always going to be collaboration, but your business is maybe not going to be relying on that as much. So when we go into professional services, our people are our product. They are the reason why clients want to spend money with us. And they also work with more people than just their team. So, you know, they'll be on a de- in a department on a team that might be more skill set focused, but then go on to a project team that has multiple different departments working on it, a project manager. And so there's that element of it. And then I think also it's a technical person who also needs to be outgoing and extroverted in a sense, or be able to kind of lift that up if that's not their natural state and interact with people in a way that your stereotype of a technical person may not be able to do that. So it's a little bit of a big ask. I think when you go into consulting, especially a tech consulting, it's a big ask to sort of have all the skills. So that allows us to really have one moment to focus on do you have deep enough technical skills? And then another moment to focus on, okay, but culturally and, you know, when we look at interacting with our clients and how challenging that can be, can you hit that mark too? 